hello everyone welcome to the lecture on design of rectangular water tank by approximate method so we have already done the design of circular water tanks so in this lecture we will study how to design a rectangular water tank by approximate method so this is a typical question which can be asked in the examination so let us just first go through the question design by approximate method a rectangular rcc water tank 6 meter by 4 meter in plan and 3.3 meter in height tank is resting on the firm ground design the walls consider m25 and fe415 check the design for safe stresses draw the plan at 1 meter above the base showing reinforcement details also draw the section so this is the question which is given to us so first let us see what is the given data to us so given are the plan dimensions that means 6 meter by 4 meter these are the inner plan dimensions okay and ly is 6 that means the longer longer wall is 6 meters and the shorter wall is 4 meters and the depth is 3.3 meters the total depth and m25 and fe415 is given to us so now we have to find we have to design the tank and also we have to show the reinforcement detailing so let us start with the design so first we'll just draw the plan so as you can see i have drawn here ly is 6 meters and LX is 4 meters so first we will find out the ratio LY by LX so LY by LX is coming out less than 2 so here first we have to check whether the ratio LY by LX is less than 2 or greater than 2 so if it is less than 2 then we will design it as a continuous slab the walls of the water tank are designed as continuous horizontal slab and if it is greater than 2 the long walls are designed as vertical cantilevers and the short walls are decide, uh, designed as the continuous slabs okay so I hope this is clear so in case it is greater than 2 so the long walls are designed as vertical cantilevers and the short walls are designed as continuous slab so this is a typical problem which is usually asked in the examination so we have checked that it is less than 2 so hence both the walls will be designed considering fixity at the ends and bottom one 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 by four or one meter whichever is more will act as a cantilever effect so i've just mentioned this so first we will find out h by four or one meter will com compare so one is the higher value so hence bottom one meter will act as cantilever now the first step of this design is calculation of the thickness of the wall so i'll just go through the steps which are involved in this so that you can understand the flow of the lecture so in this first we will find out the thickness of the wall okay so first we'll find basically the dimensions of the water tank then we will find the second step is calculation of water pressure third step is calculation of bending moment and tension in the short wall so basically we're designing for bending moment and tension so we'll find out that in the short wall then similarly the fourth point calculation of bending moment and tension in the long wall then the fifth step is to find out the design constants like we do in working stress method calculation of design constants sixth step is calculation of reinforcement in the short wall so once you find out the bending moment and tension then we'll find out the reinforcement in the short wall now uh, the reinforcement in the short wall is divided into we'll find this at the near face of the water and from the away face of the water similarly then we'll find out the reinforcement in the long wall and then we'll find out again it is divided into reinforcement near the water face and away from the water face and then eighth step is design bottom one meter as vertical cantilever so the eighth step is designing bottom one meter as vertical cantilever and then we will check the design that is check for stresses so this step is very important you have to check the design uh, for the stresses that is t dash upon t plus sigma dash ct upon sigma ct should be less than or equal to one and then finally we will show the reinforcement detailing so i hope this is clear now this is the flow chart or the steps which are involved so accordingly we will continue so the first step is dimensions of the wall so this is given by uh, this uh, two rules the thickness is 150 mm or thickness is 30 mm per meter depth of the wall plus 50 mm so this comes out to be 149 and one more thumb rule is there so in case of rectangular water tanks you can remember this 60 mm per meter of the long side so 60 mm per meter of the long side here is 6 meter so considering all these three rules let us provide the thickness of the wall as 
350 mm so if you consider 60 mm into 6 so it comes out to be 360 mm so it is better uh, you take the value uh, whichever is the higher value so here in this case I have taken 350 mm let us see the design now so you can take it as 360 also there is no problem now let us consider the clear cover as 25 mm and consider the diameter of the horizontal steel as 12 mm and diameter of the vertical steel as 10 mm so this is the main steel is the horizontal steel since we are designing as a continuous slab so let us consider higher diameter for the horizontal that is 12 and uh, vertical 10 mm so this is just for this is just the assumption so that on this basis we can proceed now ly is your center to center distance so I have we have assumed the thickness of the wall is 350 mm so center to center distance becomes 6 plus 350 by 2 plus 350 by 2 so your ly is 6.35 effective and lx effective is 4.35 now the second step is calculation of water pressure so we will find out the water pressure at 1 meter so let us see at 1 meter you can see this figure so this is the this is the height this is the total depth is 3.3 so the re this is 1 meter so the remaining is 2.3 meter at the bottom the maximum pressure is gamma w into h which is 33 kN per meter square and at 1 meter above it is 10.2 10 into 2.3 that is 23 kN per meter square so now the third step let us move to the third step that is to find out to calculate the bending moment and tension in the short wall so since we are uh, designing it as a continuous slab so we you know that bending moment at the support is given by wl square by 12 and bending moment at the mid spine is wl square by 16 so that concept we are using so this load this is nothing but your gamma w into h dash that is at a distance of one meter above because above one meter we are designing it for horizontal and up to one meter it will act as a vertical cantilever so this uh, gamma w into h dash we have already found out this is 23 into lx is effective is 4.35 square by 12 so this comes out to be 36.27 now similarly positive bending moment at the mid span is uh, gamma w into h dash into lx square upon 16 so 23 into 4.35 divided by 16 it is 27.20 now similarly tension is given by wl by 2 uh, where ly l is your the longer side so this comes out to be 73.03 so this we got the bending moment and tension in the short wall similarly find out the bending moment and tension in the long wall the same formula in case of long wall this will be ly square by 12 so that is the only difference so we got these three values now coming to the fifth step so the fifth step is calculation of the design constants so this we have done in WSM how to find out the design constants so we have two cases first is near the water face and second is away from the water face so whenever the thickness is greater than 225 mm we have to design it as near the water uh, face of the water and away from the face of the water so this is given in your IS 3370 design of water tank so now Sigma CBC for M25 grade we know that it is 8.5 and uh, Sigma ST permissible stress it is for FE 4 and 5 it is 150 mm near the face of water so now these are the constants this is the modular ratio is given by 280 upon 3 sigma c so you will get it as 10.98 and this n is the neutral axis constant and j is the lever arm constant so i have just shown you the formula how to find out this so if you work out this you will get it as xc is 0.383d 0.383 is nothing but your neutral axis constant and z lever arm is d minus xc by 3 you will get 0.872 into d so that is your lever arm constant so this we got for near the water phase similarly when it is away from the water phase sigma cbc remains the same the only difference sigma st changes remember this sigma st for t greater than 225 that is thickness of the wall greater than 225 mm is 190 so this is the permissible uh, stresses it is given in the table so you have to remember these values so uh, your neutral axis constant is same and lever arm constant is same so we got the design constants the next step is calculation of horizontal reinforcement in the short wall so now we will see how to find out the reinforcement in the short wall so here this is how the arrangement of the reinforcement is outer layer of the reinforcement will be vertical while inner layer will be horizontal so you can see in this figure the outer layer is vertical the inner layer is horizontal and we are designing as the horizontal reinforcement so this is horizontal reinforcement is of 12 mm dia we have just 
okay we have just assumed this you can see here horizontal 12 and vertical 10 so that's what we are placing here so from this figure it is very clear so this is total thickness is 350 you can see here and we have to find out two things that is d that is the center distance from the center of the main steel from the extreme fiber so this is 350 total weight total thickness minus 25 is the clear cover minus 10 is the vertical diameter and minus 12 by 2 that is center of the main steel so this comes out to be 309 mm see we, we also have to find out x so here you can see in the figure x is nothing but from the center to the center of the reinforcing bar that is a horizontal reinforcing bar that is of 12 mm dia so this comes out to be 350 by 2 minus 25 is your clear cover minus 10 is the diameter of the vertical bar and 12 by 2 that is the diameter of the horizontal bar so you got the value of d and x now we can actually find out the area of reinforcement so first we'll find out near the face of the water that means at the support or you can say it as near the face of the water your ast1 and ast2 ast1 is basically for moment and ast2 is for tension so we will find out separately and then we will add so ast1 the formula is given as m minus t into x upon sigma st into j into d so m you already know so reinforcement in the short wall so let us see how you got m so we have already found out in the short wall your bending moment is 36.27 and tension is 73.02 and it is at the support okay so negative bending moment so that's how you got your m as 36.27 t as 73 so with the help of this small formula we'll get steel as 655 similarly ast2 is nothing but t upon safe stress that is sigma st now sigma st for near the face near water face now sigma st can you see my pointer near the water face is 150 so remember this do not make mistake sigma st for near the water face is 150 and away from the water face it is 190 so please take care of this so ast2 we got now ast is given by ast1 plus ast2 so which comes out to be 1142 mm square so now let us check this value with the minimum steel ast minimum is given by uh, the percentage you have to find out with this linear interpolation so we know that for 100 mm thick it is percentage is 0 0.24 and as the thickness increases the reinforcement decreases linearly to 0.16 so you have uh, from this uh, you can find out for the middle values so our thickness of the wall is 350 mm so the percentage for that comes out to be 0.183 okay so this is how you will find out your minimum reinforcement so AST minimum is given by 0.183 upon 100 into b into thickness so it comes out to be 640 which is less than ast hence it is okay so you have to just check whether your main steel is not less than your ast minimum now using a suitable diameter we will find out the spacing so let us assume as 16 mm diameter since the area is 1100 so we will assume suitable diameter that is 16 mm and the uh, spacing comes out to be 176 so let us provide 16 tor at 150 mm center to center as horizontal reinforcement now let us see how to find out away from the water face so this we got it as near the face of the water now away from the water face that is at the mid span we have to consider so here at the mid span m is 27 so how this m came for short wall at the mid span you have to check so let us just check for the short wall at the mid span it is 27.2 so that's what we have written here 27.2 and tension is 73 so again we got ast1 with these values and ast2 and total is 724 and also ast minimum is less than this so hence it is okay so again let us use suitable diameter 16 mm and find out the spacing comes out to be 277 so let us provide 16 tor at 250 mm center to center so i hope this uh, you understood how to find out same as we found out for the supports we'll find out at the mid span that is away from the water face now the seventh step is calculation of reinforcement in the long wall so we already have found out d and x that is 309 and x is 134 mm if you see my previous page so now again let us find out near the water face so same step you have to uh, follow like you have done in the short wall so at the support that is near the water face uh, m is 72.28 so if you check at the support it is 77.28 for long wall and t is 50 so ast1 will get an ast2 total ast is 2000 
So since the area is more, let us uh, select a higher diameter. So using 20 mm diameter bars, the spacing we got it as 151. So let us provide 20 toilet 150 as horizontal reinforcement. So now at the mid span again, uh, moment is 57 and T is 50. So this moment I have shown you, we got this from here. Okay, so in the long wall, at the mid span bending moment is 57 and tension is 50. So that's what we have written here. I hope you understood this long wall mid span 57 T is 50. So again AST1 find out AST2 same formula. Now remember again this whenever you take the value of sigma ST away from the water phase sigma ST is 190 and near the water phase sigma ST is 150. So do not make this mistake. Now total AST is AST1 plus AST2 which is 1200 something. So let us use 20 mm diameter bars and spacing comes out to be 248 so let us provide 20 torret 225 mm center to center okay so let us uh, in the long wall we have uh, selected 20 mm diameter so it is convenient so i have uh, selected that same diameter at the mid span and away from the face also now the eighth step is so we have designed the long and the short wall so now the eighth step is designing bottom one meter as vertical cantilever so this you can see the pressure diagram bottom we already know the value it is 33 and uh, let us consider the force which is acting at one third from the bottom which is p so you got the value of p that is half into base into height which is 16.5 kilo newton and moment is given by nothing but p into h by 3 so p is 16.5 and h is 1 so 1 by 3 it comes out to be 5.5 kilo newton meter so you got the moment for the bottom one meter as vertical cantilever so for this moment we'll find out the steel now so before finding out the steel we have to find out d okay so now here you're, uh, you're designing it as vertical cantilever so vertical will be your main steel so this is how i have placed the steel so vertical uh, we have already done this so this vertical is 10 mm and this horizontal is 12 mm so now we'll have to find out D. So D is nothing but from the extreme to the center of the your main steel. Main here is 10 mm diameter. So please pay attention to this. I hope this is clear. Since this we are designing as a vertical cantilever. So this vertical steel is your main steel. So D will be from the center of the main steel. So 350 minus 25 is the clear cover minus 10 by 2 will give you D that is 320 mm. Also J you know and Sigma ST we know that is 150 so for bottom one meter uh, cantilever it is 150 AST is given by M upon Sigma ST into J into D so now this will be AST is 131.4 mm square but AST minimum is 640 so we will consider the minimum steel because your minimum steel is a governing steel so therefore spacing selecting 12 mm diameter bar spacing comes out to be 176 so let us provide 12 torret 170 mm center to center as the steel for bottom one meter which is acting as a vertical cantilever so this was your eight steps of the design so in the next lecture we will see one step is remaining that is check for stresses so now we will see whether our design is safe or not so we will check for stresses and then we will see the reinforcement detailing in the next lecture i hope this is clear the eight, these eight steps so it is uh, quite simple the steps you just have to repeat in the long wall and in the short wall thank you